are supposedly expected to facilitate, make easier other study areas, have in fact made a considerable impact on the decline in the diversity of the school curriculum. This, this sentence is the structure of this sentence in the second case. It is, and he hasn't handled it fully correctly. There's a little bit of a wobbly grammar here. Yeah. And it's quite it's quite long, and you know, when you get long you've got to be careful, don't you, that it's all falling into place. Yeah. But let's maybe, you know, time we can talk about this together. I think we'd agree that the two paragraphs above it are more refutation, aren't they? Yeah, of this point about uh, teaching practice. It's shifting teacher practice to focus on the test rather than other, other subjects. Yeah. What about this bit here then? This little paragraph. It's another one of these little mini conclusions, isn't it? About the teaching practice. It's a little wrap up. Okay, so what, before we turn the page, what would you expect now? Yeah, what's going to be the next school outcomes? And are we going to expect to hear his voice or opposition? We would expect the opposition voice, wouldn't it? It's given that the two previous ones have been structured like that. So notice how good writing helps read a prediction, doesn't it? We know, or pretty confident, we can guess the next section. And, and then the writing is consistent with our guess. We feel happy. Everybody's enjoying the ride. Yeah? There's a lot of prediction in reading. Even when you write a nice, clear sentence, we can often predict the next idea. Here, it's at a bigger level. Paragraph, I know, what's, I know what the structure has been. I can predict the next paragraph. Yeah? So at a micro level and a macro level, the writer is setting up nice, clear structures so that we can predict and it's a bit like, oh yeah, I've got the border town, next town, Horsham, next town, Ballarat, next town, Bendigo, then Melbourne, you know, I know where I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit sad, it's, it's like knowing the present you're going to get for Christmas, Alex, isn't it? Where's the surprise? <laughs> yeah, true. That is an interesting point. You've got to, yeah, you've got to kind of make it interesting still, don't you? I guess on the road to Melbourne, there's still nice landscape, you know, some pretty cows. <laughs> okay, uh, over the page, let's keep reading and we'll just see. If, we'll see if our prediction is now fulfilled. Ahmed, can you write a further benefit? If there's a benefit of the Accountability. Accountability and school performance. Jin Sin and the line that in the publication of the NAP, NAP land result, why, why that my school website should be evaluated as a significant step towards education reform, in that enable schools to become in the Inevitably. In inevitably. Inevitably. Involved in competition. Parents to choose a better performing school. In the community to monitor school's performance as Prime Minister Kevin Rudd in 2000, uh, stated in 2000, sits in top, Cited top, in top, top field. field 2013. In and emphasize emphasize school choice by parents that is considerable attribute to the NAP land results can be the beauty of the NAP land region. Okay, so what do we see here? Is it is it our prediction fulfilled here? It's opposition voice, isn't it? Making several points about Let's have a look at the topic sentence. What are the key words? Yeah, strengthening school accountability and school performance. Yep. The kind of two elements here. And the rest of it is then the support of that position. Yeah. Alright. Moving on. Kate, have a read. This mechanism. This 
mechanism of the not pluralism, however, would completely ignore a great number of negative consequences for school involvement. One under, undeniable. Undeniable. You cannot deny it. Undeniable. Undeniable outcome is the creation of weak tables that present school rankings in order of the not scores of individual schools. Despite the denial that ACARA does not provide any official read tables, make go 2012, it should not be able to avoid criticism that read tables are manipulated on the basis of the exact data of the my school website. Good, thanks. That will do. Nicole, just can you jump there? Further. Okay. Further publication of the net and results via the My School website can at least function as an aiming and training tool, in particular on schools with a disadvantaged social social economic background. Yeah, because this is an important word, especially if you're into a lot of professions that are dealing with social issues, socio-economic socio-economic, so both a social level and economic level, socio-economic status. Yeah. Okay, it gets a little complex and a bit of cultural knowledge is important here. League, remember that word earlier? We did it right at the beginning of the day. League, group, and it's about exactly football. Who's the top of the football? You know, is it the Sydney Swans, Adam Good's team, is it the Crows, is it Port? The league tables. The tables, you know, every week they're different. You know, they move around, don't they? Depending who's won, that's the league table. So the uh, the metaphor here is schools, NAPLAN results. Who who gets the highest results? Who gets the lowest? And these get published on the My School website. The the Australian every six months or so publishes these. What do you think? What do you think the effect is for the schools that come at the bottom, what, what would parents who are going to send kids, they're deciding where to send their kids? They decide to put their student in different schools. Different school, yeah. So if that school's kind of failing and teachers, uh, parents withdraw kids or don't send them, then it sends them even more failing, failing more deeply, less and less kids, less and less resources. Those schools, the argument goes, that NAPLAN and publication means those schools go into what we call a spiral, that shape, that a death spiral, you know, and the others go into a positive cycle, and so we get polarization. Poles, north and south, polarization, important word for social issues. <coughs> Polar, <coughs> north and south pole, polarize. Polarisation. So NAPLAN testing and the publication of these results, this is certainly what the teachers union and other groups argue, other people argue no, we, parents need to know, there's these two sides, you know, but clearly he's arguing, you know, one particular side here, so just need to understand that background. Is he arguing, he's arguing against the tests, is that right? That's right, overall yeah. he is, and he's giving us evidence. We're going to have to wind up there, guys, because there's a group coming in. And, uh, yeah, so that's it for today. What I'd like you to do is push on for homework, read the rest of it. Now we've got this kind of these tools. Read the rest, try to apply these tools. Tomorrow we'll pick up the rest and we'll see what happens in the rest. And particularly in the conclusion, have a think about it in the conclusion. Are there recommendations? Are there implications? Are there some kind of combination? What do you think? Right. And we'll see you tomorrow. And we've got one presentation, I think, tomorrow as well. We'll see you then.